More than 150,000 urban migrants are expected to enter Indonesia's capital, Jakarta, this year, around 50,000 of whom will arrive after the Eid exodus, or locally known as Mudik. Authorities estimated a surge of urban migrants by 20,000 to 50,000 people, most of which come after the Eid season. According to the Civil Registry Office's Population Document Service data, the number of migrants arriving in Jakarta had been declining over the past two years due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It is predicted this year's total number of new migrants will be around the same as it was in 2019, between 150,000 and 180,000 people, most of whom are expected to arrive in May or after the Eid homecoming season. Lines of buses carrying evacuees from the Azovstal plant alongside humanitarian aid vehicles were seen at the east of Mariupol Monday as evacuated civilians were being transferred to relief centers across the region. The evacuation from the plant in the besieged poor city is expected to continue with those leaving Monday going in the direction of Ukrainian control Zaporozhye in the northwestern Donetsk while others were being sent to relief centers in Russia and also elsewhere in Donetsk. The evacuation of civilians from Mariupol was the focus of talks between Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres on Thursday. However, the evacuation process has been far from smooth, with one local woman claiming in an interview released by the Russian Ministry of Defense on Sunday that Ukrainian forces had threatened civilians inside the Azovstal plant and forbade them to leave.